to celebrate. To forget. To remember. <laughs> I should be on next week at the barbecue though. You've been to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> you gotta go. I just got this huge exam tomorrow that she's gotta to study for. Yeah, I'm fine. No, man, we we are not fine. We're fucked out right now, man. If you drive right now, you're gonna fucking die. Yeah, I'm gonna sober up in my car then. Oh, you promise? Yeah, I can't drive right now. <laughs> you said promise. Yeah, I promise. Hey, don't do anything stupid. Son of a bitch. Get back inside and we'll figure this out. No! I'm not gonna put up with this bullshit anymore. I'm going home. How? Him and his friends all drove. I'll call a friend. We're all here though. I have other friends in the area. It's not safe outside. I'll be fine. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm stuck at this party on the west side, and, um, I need a ride. Is there any way you could come pick me up? Um, yeah, of course. Look, I'm so sorry to bug you. You're just the only person I know in the area, and, you know, all the friends that I would normally call are already here, so... 
Yeah, just let me know where you are and I'll be there. Thank you. Is it drunk call time? Yep. Oh my gosh, how much did you drink? I can smell the alcohol even through the phone. Hmm, <laughs> stupid, that's impossible. How is it? Oh, it's over. Most people left. Did you have fun? I wish you were here. I do too. Uh, you better get an A. No, A plus for not coming tonight. <laughs> that's not how the GMAT works, but yes. I'll get an A+. Plus. Everybody's girlfriend is here tonight, except mine. You left me all alone. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm, don't ever leave me. We've been together for six years. I think you've got me. <laughs> Do I? Don't you? Hmm? Mm, I'm drunk. <sighs> Actually, Barry didn't bring his girlfriend tonight either. Oh, really? Where was she? He brought his fiance instead. <laughs> Remember he proposed last week. That's right. It's going to be so weird getting used to calling her that. Actually, made me think. I don't want to bring my girlfriend to parties anymore either. Oh, is that right? I want to bring a fiance instead. So, am I just taking you home? Yes, please. Um, if you just take the tennies to the I remember. It wasn't that long ago. Come on. I could have moved. I feel like that's something you would have posted on Facebook. Wait. Did you? No. We can't keep doing this. I know. I'm sorry. I just can't stop thinking about you. We've been down this road before, Elijah, five years and all. We know where it leads. I feel like you've always been in my life, Audrey. I wasn't ready to refer to you in the past tense so soon. Not yet. Do you ever think of me? Time before me. There'll be a time after me. You're so strong, I don't know how you do it. Others have taught me how. Maybe now I'm teaching you. So, who was she tonight? I wish I knew. Our seating positions almost seemed intentional, like we were meant to have a perfect eyeline for stealing glances. Just enough obstruction to seem a part of the crowd. Just enough clarity to see that our eyes... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I shouldn't even be telling you this. Tell me. Her eyes are beautiful. They're reminding me of yours. How ironic. You loved my eyes, but hated how I used them. Don't you remember? You said I had a negative view of the world. I loved your ambition. You hated my lack of self-control. You're singing. <laughs> my scrawny legs. Don't forget, 
all the reasons why you broke up with me and all the reasons why I won't answer your message. I wish we never ended the way we did. I just want you to know that. You're learning about yourself and who you ultimately want as your companion. I was a part of that process and you were a part of mine. You don't need to feel sorry anymore. I'd be better now if I had another chance. I know you would. But you can be better for someone new. Don't waste all the pain we've already endured on trying to mend the past. Use it to learn and grow for the future. Even if I'm not a part of it. Feels weird being back here. Yeah, a little right. Yeah. Hey, um, I didn't ask and I don't need to know, but whatever happened, you don't need to take it from him. You are a beautiful, amazing girl. Fighting like this isn't normal. He grabbed my arm and he shoved me. I've just never had a guy do that to me before. A guy should never put his hands on a girl like that. I tried to play it off like I was really angry too, but like, I was actually just really scared. I mean, you're not. You should rest. Right? I should probably go too. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry. Thanks again. Goodbye. I'm just saying. Don't you even dare, Brian. We already talked about it. Yeah, when you're sober. Hey, there is no more honest time than when drunk. This is how I feel. I don't need to hold it back. Don't. It's time. Uh-uh. Courtney. Baby, you are the love of my life. I'm not listening. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh my god, you're really doing this. Will you marry me? Again later. When? Sober. You rejected me? You rejected my marriage proposal. <laughs> Is anyone else there hearing this? Mm. Nope. 
And you're lucky no one was here to see you be so heartless. Oh, I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go. I actually have a lot left, but get back here safely, please. Ah, you broke my heart. <laughs> And in that moment, he realized this is exactly what he'd been searching for all along, yet never knew could exist until that moment. He was happy. The years of uncertainty, the nights of loneliness, the reckless decisions the irrational moments of fleeting triumph. Hello? It's all right, baby, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it later. I had a friend pick me up. It all made sense now. And from the vantage point of retrospect, all seemed necessary so that he could be exactly where he was. Happy. We'll all get there. <laughs>